time is not the main thing. Time is the only thing. What is time? Time is emotion. Got to remember that time is emotion. What you're really managing is emotion. Change is never a matter of ability. It's always a matter of motivation. So the biggest part of life and time management is knowing what you want and having enough reasons to follow through. What it is that you're doing with your time today. You know what? If you look at it, if you really look at it, all of us are basically the same. The only difference is how you use your time. If you put limitations on yourself, it can actually increase your efficiency. If you set yourself up with a tight, tight schedule, it can drive your tempo. It can drive your pace. If you give yourself unlimited time, if you give yourself unlimited resources, you're going to use all those resources. You're going to use all that time. Constraints that you put on yourself are very effective. We all get exactly the same amount of time. Exactly. Now, here's something interesting. The sand in the bottom of the glass represents the past. The sand in the top of the glass re represents the future. This is the way it actually is. You have no idea what's in the top of the glass. You only know what's in the bottom of the glass. The only thing we've got anything to do with is what's right here in the center right now. Everything else is an illusion. It's a myth. It's gone. See, the truth is we don't know how much time we've got. But we know we're here and now, and the only thing we've really got is what's right here in the center. If we want to enjoy more of life, we've got to give everything we've got right now. Let's not plan, well, in the future I'll do it. Or let's not be sad about what didn't happen in the past. We've got to quit playing like this is a game. We've got to treat life like what it is. It's sacred. Yet we're capable of doing anything we want. But we've got to do it. It ain't going to happen for us. Don't waste your time. Do you know that everybody alive gets exactly the same amount of time we get all there is? It's what we do with it that makes a difference. Don't waste your life. Set your goals high. Quit thinking about what's wrong. Start thinking what's right. Love a little more, hate a little less. You have no idea what you're capable of doing. Make up your mind today. You're going to figure it out. Do something that you don't know if you can accomplish. Do that thing that you don't know if you can do. Stop being afraid of hard work. That's the thing that's gonna really determine success or failure. One is your desire to actually do it. And then two, the commitment that it will take to achieve it. Stop being scared. As far as discouragement goes from not having gotten on the path earlier, Am, do I feel that way? Would I feel that way? Negative. Don't know. Okay, you were a little late getting in the game. But I'll tell you what, even if even if you were 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 doesn't matter. You're in the game now and that's that's what counts. And all those quote unquote wasted years, they they weren't wasted, right? They're not wasted because you learned. And and specifically, what did he learn about? Learned about what it's like to be out of shape learned about what it's like to be overweight, learned about what it's like to be weak, and the knowledge that you learned about those things is fuel to make sure that it never happens again. Not only do you want to stop being scared and do that thing that you don't know if you can do or not, but you know what you got to do is you got to start taking the steps now. Your life seems like it's going to last forever, and I will tell you right now, it's not going to last forever. And those years go by like a summer's day. And the next thing you know, you look up and you're 36 years old or you're 44 years old. And that time's gone. You cannot get it back. You cannot get time back. So those dreams that you have, those goals that you have, don't put them off another second. Not one second. Get on them and go out and make them happen starting right now. I say you embrace what you learned from the weekdays. Let them let them make you even stronger and you use your own personal transformation that you've made in life. Use that to help other people 
transform and get on the path as well. How are you spending your time? How much are you putting in and focusing on the things that bring you joy, the things that make you smile, the things that make you feel good and laugh? As you look at yourself, look at where you are right now in your life, the people that are going to come out on top, the people that are going to make an impact, the people that are going to achieve their goals are the people who are mindful on how they use their time. You don't achieve worthwhile goals quickly or easily. They take time. They take struggle. They take relentless pursuit day in and day out. That's what it takes. But also, things don't usually fall apart quickly either. At least at first, it, it's, it's a slow process. A little slip here, a little setback over there, a little wearing down of discipline and will over time. That's the thing. Success and failure are generally slow processes, either slowly building things up or gradually tearing them down. And that's why I say you've got to pay attention. You have to watch. You have to watch every single second because those seconds, they turn into minutes and minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days and days turn into years. And so that second, that second that just went by, that counted. Every second counts. Constraints can be useful. Discipline equals freedom. Don't fall into the trap of giving yourself a bunch of time because you'll use it all and we, we don't have unlimited time.